So I feel I feel way more confident about door skip now. Oh, dude, Tony Hawk 3 is great. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's worse than 2. I think it's like... I mean, if it is worse than 2, it's like a 9.4 compared to Tony Hawk 2 being like a 9.6. Like, they're both fantastic. And like 1... The levels in 1 are iconic. Um, I just think that 2 and 3 expanded off it so well. But like, in the remake, I love Tony Hawk 1. Like, playing... All the Tony Hawk 1 levels, but with, like, better controls, like, you know, the things that the, the later games expanded on is so nice. Alright, 3, 2, 1, and go. Four is a damn good game, too. I know it's PS2, but... That's what I'm pulling for, man. I'm hoping... Hoping to get a nice PB. I, uh, I really fucked up that last one last stream. Um, so no, no meme run today. <laughs> okay, let's, let's get at it. That was weird. Uh, I guess same effect. Could do without Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider, so I actually think that the modern Tomb Raiders, like the rebooted ones, are significantly better than the OG ones. Um, yeah, I, I would say, like, especially PS1 Tomb Raiders are jank as hell. Um, but I do think it's like a pretty iconic PS1 franchise, so I put it on there. I, dude, I love Tekken 3. Uh, Tekken 3, we also like... Tekken 3 arcade cabinets were pretty popular when I was a kid in, like... Oh, fuck. In my area. Uh, I was all about that shit. Alright, let's get a right side Olga here. That'll make everyone happy. I think we... We moved a little too bumpy getting here. I don't think it's possible to get a, a gold. But we'll see. Alright, we got, we got our right side Olga. Two hits. Where's she gonna go? I, I still want to know if I can hit her a third time there. I don't think I can. But it'd be really solid if I could. Fantastic. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Alright, that's fine. That's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> The the time save isn't now, it's it's way later. Right, let's see if I can do this pro strat here where I switch my gun so seamlessly that Nope. Did it too did it way too way too late. There's supposed to be like Oh fuck me. Okay, this could be... This could be bad. I mean... It, that's probably like three or four seconds bad. It's not like terrible. That that has gone significantly worse in runs that I've PB'd. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, that didn't go even remotely how I planned. Usually he's not trying to shoot me there. Exactly. Door skip. Door skip's pretty significant. Door skip's like a good. Doesn't matter. Unless they come through this door, but I don't think they do. Even. No. Yeah, we're good. This room's been giving me some trouble. Um, we'll see what happens here. I feel like last time I fucked this up somehow. Okay, I think, I think we're okay. It's gonna be close. We've got the buffer of... Okay, we should be good. Also, has there always been four of those guys that come down? I feel like it used to be three. And like, maybe it's just because they're so tightly bunched. But that threw me off the other day. <laughs> Fuck. 
Dude, I, I miss P too, man. I mean, I'm glad, like, I'm enjoying this YouTube content. I, uh, I, like, fully caught up on all the new stuff at work. Uh, what's today? Tuesday? On Sunday. Um, but, uh, yeah, I miss waking up to his streams, man. But I mean, if he's happy doing YouTube content, um, I'm happy for him. Okay, 28 shots should be more than enough even if we don't exactly hit our marks immediately. Oh yeah, no, of course. Okay, that... Oh, fuck, man. Shit. Let me know if that's loud for anyone else. Ah, uh, Sai, thank you so much for the raid. Uh, how's it going, Spoon? How's it going, Sep? Ah, uh, Sai? Logical Yobe, Nathan, Andy. How's it going, everybody? We are doing a little Metal Gear Solid 2 speed run. You guys actually got here at the perfect time. Um, we are just about at the funnest part of the run, if I don't screw this up. This isn't the ideal strat here. You're supposed to be able to walk between those two lines and get under that just fine, but I'm not good at that. And let me just bonk that dude right there. Dive across that. Head in here. We will have Hades going on. Hell yeah. I've, uh, I've been enjoy enjoying those Hades streams. Okay, here we go. I think, I think we're good. That kind of tailed off into the middle there at some point. I could hear people dying, like, pretty far away. <laughs> okay. Time to get a camera out. Let me take a pic from this angle. Take a pic from this angle. And I'm going to take two from right here. We take one here, which is supposed to be the Marines logo. It's not... And we take one there. And we go over here to the computer. Oh, let me give you... I should be able to give a shout-out while also... Hold on. There we go. Uh, everybody go follow Cyberina. If you don't, she is a fantastic streamer. Uh, plays Hades. She got all of the Kurok seeds in... Uh, Breath of the Wild... Great streamer. All right, we don't want to save. <laughs> so yeah, the first eight minutes of this game is Solid Snake, and then the rest of it you are riding. Um, when this came out, all of the advertising was done to like make it look like you're Snake the whole game. And then uh, people were kind of mad when it turned out you were only Snake for about the first... 10% of the game, but turns out it's a pretty good game anyway. <laughs> Yo, what's up, King? Was very Madge, King confirm. <laughs> so yeah, the, the one thing about the speedrun, it is a lot of skipping uh, cutscenes and codec calls and a lot of cartwheeling. When riding cartwheels, it's slightly faster than running. So anytime you have like a clear path, you just want a cartwheel, which is pretty, admittedly pretty fun. Um, get over this computer. Still am. So I would be, but I ended up enjoying this game so much as is that like, it's cool. Oh, fuck. Okay. I could have done that faster. There 
Answer that call. Also, thank you guys for the follows. Um, oh shit, thank you for another one. So they're gonna start to wake up. Uh, this is when we go back and get the M9. You typically don't have to, um, but you have to wait for the elevator to show up anyway, so I just do it. You can sit around there and just kind of chill, but keep keeps you active. And we are in time for the elevator. Oh, get up, get up. Also, because you can, like, you can start this game from the snake portion or just go right into the riding portion. And because of that, a lot of these calls at the beginning are just, like, reiterating to you what you already know from the snake portion of the game. Because uh, they, they think you, like, need another tutorial. So when you actually play the game, this part's a little slow. Alright, let's head on down to meet Vamp. Oh, and for those, I've been trying to, I've been trying to actually introduce myself on, like, a raid. Uh, for those that don't know me, um, Streaming Lehman, I primarily speedrun Metal Gear Solid 2 at the moment, but I'm also doing an A to Z playthrough of, um, PlayStation 2 games. If you type exclamation point A to Z in the chat, it'll give you the full list of, um, PS2 games I'm gonna play and, like, where I'm at in them. Uh, yo! Yo, Wombo, thank you for the raid, dude. How you doing? Uh, what were you up to? Are you Dark Souls? -ing? All right, a whole bunch of cutscenes here. <laughs> any any Mr. Robot enjoyers in chat? Uh, yo, what's up, Memo? Wombo, you playing Dark Souls 3? Hell yeah, man. How'd that go? watch the first season so the first season i thought was really good personally i love the third and fourth season i thought they were incredible but i think that show lost like half its viewers in the first five episodes of season two because it's like it's just like super slow and i don't know in my opinion it's kind of necessary um but they probably could have condensed those five episodes into maybe like i don't know three but i think like a ton of people I've talked to were just like, yeah, I tuned out midway through season two. And it's like, okay, I get it. It just gets really good after that. <laughs> Found out where I'm supposed to go, so some progress. Hell yeah, man. Glad to hear. So now we are heading to the bomb, dis uh, bomb disposal portion of the game. Where we'll get some coolant from Stillman here. And we get to go around and be a spray uh, C4 with the coolant. Let's just equip everything now. Yeah, I love that show, dude. There was like a couple episodes in the later seasons that I had like never like seen an episode of TV set up that way before. It was like really impressive. Who's your all-time favorite boss on roller skates? Gotta be fat, man. <laughs> oh. Fuck, dude. I've done it a couple times now. Yo, what's up, Laser Honk? Yeah, the coolant's pretty strong. You can actually... It's, like, pretty useful in, um... If you were playing on, like, a European Extreme or an Extreme Difficulty... You can, like, hide around a corner and spray the coolant to kind of stun the guards for a second. Um, it works pretty well. Not that I not that I play on European Extreme. I don't think I can handle that, but for those that do, it's pretty helpful. 
Uh, not too much, man. I've had a pretty lazy day. I was gonna, I was gonna go do stuff this morning, and I looked outside, and it was snowing, and I was like, oh, I don't really feel like it anymore. It wasn't anything urgent. All right, let's get on in there. Do our cartwheels. Also, the uh, if you type exclamation point pick three in the chat. The pick three for the day is PS1 games. It's uh, probably one of the more difficult ones I've set up. Turns out uh, there's a lot of good PS1 uh, games and franchises. Oh god, am I... I'm not even close. Can this reach? Thank god. Okay, we're gonna have to be fast. Oh, we're gonna have to be... We're gonna have to cut. Fuck. Okay, we're good. Hey, what's up, Macro? How you doing, dude? Uh, feeling better? Nice, dude. Glad to hear it. Look at that summer best. I know, man. It's... it's something. <laughs> also started a weightlifting program yesterday, which is fun. Dude, that's awesome. Hell yeah. Getting fucking swole, dude. I've, uh... when I first started going to the gym, I just kind of figured I'd do, like, a ton of cardio. But I've enjoyed lifting a ton, dude. I think, I think you'll like it. Okay, here we go. Getting swole, dog. <laughs> Done lifting on and off in the past, but I'm bad at being consistent. I feel that. I think it is tough. It's The hardest part is, like, getting started and going from there. Cypher sees me. Pop him. That went way smoother than the last run. Yo, get down. <laughs> I don't know I don't know why that didn't respond. Stand like fuck too far. Uh, maybe. Okay, good. We we couldn't afford to have to move around too much more for that. That was that was very poor uh, footwork on my part. Found this new app. I thought it helps uh, plenty of workouts. Oh, hold on. I'll, I'm gonna read that when I'm running in a more clear uh, path or during the loading screen. A new app though that helps plenty of workouts and keeps track of progress. Dude, that's sick. I've been using my fitness pal to try to track my calories. Um, I'm not super good at remembering, but it, it's solid. I need to hit the gym. My arms look like those twigs. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's nice if you can like, you know, get like a little nice little chart going or whatever, and you can actually see uh, where you've gone. Cause I, I'm like. For a while, I was, like, really forgetful about what I was even, like, lifting at the gym, um, in terms of, like, the, oh, fuck, dude. Okay, we're good. That was really slow, but it didn't cause an alert or anything. Um, okay, there we go. 1841, I'm right here. I don't, I don't think this is good, but it's not necessarily terrible either. Oh my god, there's so much talking. Okay, so one more regular bomb, then the underground one, and then Fat Man. Oh, and then Fortune, and then Fat Man. Oh my god, we don't have much time. <laughs> we've, we've done something wrong. Okay, let's 
grab. I'm trying to think. Do we have to grab now? If I never use sensor B, but if the people that get like the world record in this speed run are picking it up, I assume I have to pick it up to progress. Um, but that being said, you never actually have to equip it at any point. Cold Caliber is free on iOS and Android. Oh, sick, dude. <laughs> Not an ad. Speedrunning a stealth game. Yeah, it's uh, kind of an... is kind of a chaotic thing. Um, at least on this difficulty, the guards are super predictable. Um, I don't know how people do, like, European Extreme where there's, like, extra guards and they're all, like... So, it, on very easy... When you shoot someone with the M9, they will knock out instantly, regardless of uh, where you hit them. On harder difficulties, I think only a headshot does that. Like, if you hit someone on, like, extreme difficulty in the thigh with a tranquilizer, it's going to take them, like, 20 seconds to go down. So it can be pretty tough. Uh, yo, GB, how's it going? Uh, thank you for the good luck, dude. Hope you're having a nice Tuesday. Large container. <laughs> it's a good time to take a sip of water. That's the trick with knowing the unskippable cutscenes. That's when you just chug. Donut. Yo, what's up, Morton? I should probably add that as a uh, BTTV. Uh, how you doing, man? Let's sneak on through here. Let's defuse that bomb. We do not have much time. Can we not? Can we really not reach from there? Take one shot every time you get an unskippable cutscene. Let me... Okay, that would be enough to get me, like... There's not that many. Um, enough to probably get me pretty, like, pretty toasty. Um, not enough to, like, kill me. <laughs> Excited to be able to watch some fast car wheels? Hell yeah. And now the fight that we can't actually win. We just kind of have to chill and take these shots. I still don't know if there's like... I don't think there's a way to manipulate this to make it go faster. There might be. To my knowledge, there's not. Oh, shit. <laughs> the weird one, it's like she's not even aiming at me. <laughs> the, old, the old pet rock. So I, uh, I might be getting some animated emotes made soon. I'm not 100% sure yet, but, uh... I've got a couple in mind that I think I'd like. Probably MGS related. Um, but I've been thinking about it. Uh, meeting time, good luck. Yo, thank you, Macro. Good luck with the meeting. Yeah, yeah I'm excited. I'm trying to narrow it down to a couple different ideas uh, that I think are, are viable. But I've been meaning to, meaning to do that for a while. Alright, this box is... Alright, get down here, Vamp. Okay, we've only got two minutes to get the Fat Man. That's like... Real lurk, I'm here, just muted. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, we're definitely a little behind. I don't think we can get to Fat Man from here in two minutes. Um, I'm sure gonna try, but... 
Once you get the fat man, it only takes about 15 seconds to actually kill him. Uh, it's just getting there. That... <laughs> and we might hit a landmine here. Uh, it's this. I've tried a million different strats here. Okay, we didn't hit it. There's two landmines right there. Um, one is literally like inches from the fucking... Uh, where those chaff grenades are, and you have to pick up those chaff grenades. Those are extremely important to the run. Don't even need my gun out, because this guy just goes down the stairs. He doesn't hear me cartwheeling or anything. We do need our gun here, however. And we do need to switch when we get to the roof. Uh, to our SOCOM. Whew. Nice clean landmine, uh, run. There's, for those that don't know, there's landmines all over that area. Um, the exact path I run, I know for a fact there's none on. But they're pretty close to that area, so you have to be, uh, solid with your movement there. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we're a little bit behind. Not not anything crazy, but we are behind. Okay. Okay, we're ready. Couldn't see his fucking head spinning because of the bullets. Okay, 25 seconds. Uh, no, I don't. And then. I would still love to know how Fat Man managed to have the final C4 underneath his body when I just killed him. <laughs> Maybe it was in the back of his jacket or something. Again, I don't know how a giant C4 would fit in the back of his jacket, but hey. It it happened, so it must it must happen somehow realistically. So yeah, we can be behind right now and be perfectly fine, because um, most of the time save is beyond this point. Also, yeah, for those that don't know, uh, next Monday, I usually don't stream on Mondays. Uh, next Monday, I'll be doing a birthday stream. I'll probably probably start a little earlier than usual and probably run a little longer than usual. Um, but, yeah, that should be, should be a good time. Okay, we're going down. This is, for some reason, I've done this so many times. And every time, I'm like, is this where I go down or is this where I go up? <laughs> okay, so this one's pretty tough. We're going to get to the boat right here and go across. We did it. We did it. We're good. No landmines. Okay, we got to equip our BDU now. We got to blend in with the... Terrorists. And our AK is right over here, so we really blend in with them. They'll never know the difference. <laughs> oh, what are we doing? Yeah, movement has not been great during this run so far. I've been hitting a lot of walls. 
All, right, all the way down to the second basement uh, to pick up the directional microphone. And then once we do that, we gotta go find Ames. You also don't want to cartwheel here because cartwheeling uh, sets off the guards. They'll, they won't directly start like shooting at you or go into alert. Fuck, fuck. Okay. Also, if you bump into any of these people, your uniform comes off. Good morning. Good morning. And this guy's gonna start running in a second. Or is he? Oh, there he goes. Okay, so we tap the wall, unequip, re-equip. Perfect. I used to have such a hard, uh, hard time with that part as a kid. And like, even in the first couple runs of this I did, it was a disaster. Um, now it works pretty well. Alright, where's Ames? Fuck, dude, where's Ames? Is that... There we go. That was not a good Ames at all. He was about as far away as you can get. <laughs> Fuck. Oh god, we have to get to the Harrier in four minutes? This'll be interesting. Okay. Not what I was hoping for. He'll never know. Okay. Now's the tough part where we have to navigate back across the landmines. Um, we shall see how this goes. Fuck, dude. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Yep, yep. Laugh it up. God damn it. Always hit one. I, I don't think I've ever had a run where I've completely avoided the landmines. But, the path is going to be cleared out pretty good for us now, at the very least. There's a plus. <laughs> 33. Okay, we're still behind for sure. I don't think it's anything ridiculous, but we're definitely still behind. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Also, there's a, uh, I, I think I knew this as a kid, but there's a fast travel system in this game, in that room I was just in. Um, with Like, if you put on a box, you can jump on... Bo on ugh, why can't I talk? You can jump up onto that conveyor belt, and um, depending on what box you're wearing, it'll take you to a different part of the strut. Now, like... I don't think that it would ever be beneficial in a speed run because you have to pick up the boxes in different places and, like, usually if you're going from, like, strut E to strut B, you have to do something in between them anyway. But it is kind of a neat little feature. Okay. One. Two. Three. 
four, five, and six. Yo, what's up, Sean? Woobly. How's it going, man? I wasn't able to catch a ton of your uh, SNES stream because I was at work for a lot of it. But uh, how'd it go? I enjoyed, I enjoyed watching The Lion King as miserable as it looked. <laughs> okay. Stinger's out. One, two, three. Alright, nothing there. Pick up the ammo! Pick up the fucking ammo, Jesus. Alright, and iframes in now. Dip below, but he comes up this. Yeah. Fuck. How did that miss? This isn't good. This isn't good. Okay, we picked up time. Uh, it was good. Lion King uh, can kiss my butt. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's a. Uh, Specifically, the level you were on is just, like, torturous. Um, it's so jank in terms of just, like, trying to catch the tails of those rhinos and stuff. Now, the level after that one isn't too bad in terms of that. I did it! I've never... The last time I did that, I almost flew off the side of the map. Um... That should save me, like, about five seconds. But, yeah, the second level of Lion King on SNES is an absolute miserable experience. Um, third level is pretty nice. Fourth level is pretty nice. Fifth level goes back to being pretty miserable. Um, sixth level, yeah, pretty miserable. Uh, to be honest, everything after that point is pretty miserable. <laughs> He can't call anything. Oh, Boneyard? Yeah, Boneyard. Boneyard is the third or fourth, I'm trying to think. That level is tough. What made me want to speedrun it? So, um, Papa Nug was doing a... He had been trying to put together for a while, like, a community speedrun challenge where we get, like, a bunch of people in the community that all run the same game. And... I think Mega Man X was the first one, and I gave that a try, and I just, like, wasn't good enough at that game to speedrun it well, but then the second one we read upon was Lion King, and I was like, yeah, fuck it, like, I'll do Lion King, and there was, like, got at least seven or eight of us that did it, maybe even more, and it was honestly pretty fun, uh, met a lot of cool people from the Lion King community, um, oh, fuck. Skip. Mega Man, dude, yeah, I'm just not, I'm not cut out for Mega Man X. It's a, it's a great game. I just can't speed run it. Or properly beat Boomer Kawanger 80% of the time I fight him. <laughs> that fight is so frustrating, dude. Not that, like, there's a bunch of portions of Lion King that aren't also super frustrating, but that Boomer Kawanger fight, man, it is rough. Plus the spider. Oh my god, dude, the spider sucks. <laughs> we didn't get in, uh, didn't end up getting the Mega Man X uh, since I got skipped. Gotcha. I mean, I'd say it's worth a playthrough at some point, or at least, like, a, you know, first few levels, give it a try. Uh, speed running it just was not fun. I don't even think I ever like got a time. Yo, what's up, Icy? How's it going? We're in the midst of a 
fairly tight. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 run right now. Could go either way. Be heavily dependent on a, like a good portion of the final 10 minutes of the run. <laughs> Assuming I don't screw something up by then. Okay. Pull up the Nikita. And we pray that the president doesn't jump in front of it. Good, good. Go over there. Okay. I don't know if you run slower with the Nikita on, but I always take it off there just in case. Not much, hope you will. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I've had a pretty uneventful day so far. It's snowing here, so I've used that as an excuse not to really do anything. <laughs> it was snowing. It's not snowing anymore. Alright, so we've rescued the president, but uh, he's not going to be around much longer anyway. Okay. Now, even more lore. Uh, we've got two and a half minutes or so. No, we had two minutes to get the vamp. This should be interesting. Oh, I forgot you talk to Snake a lot here. I think if we get to vamp on our usual pace and one-shot him, I think we might come out ahead. Okay. I think that's my cue. Alright. Lots of cartwheels. Cartwheels make you move slightly faster. Also, double tapping the elevator gives you... I think I think it automatically goes a little faster if you double tap. But also, if you double tap, there's a chance you'll get fast elevator, which uh, it just like opens right away, which is pretty nice. Alright, we got about a minute to get there. I think we'll still be behind. This part used to fuck me up as a kid, too. I would always get lost. Um, oh, God. Bad movement. Bad movement. Skip, skip. Okay, we might... This is going to be close. I think. Alright, get up. Swim over there. Come on. Oh, fuck. I forgot there's a code I call. Alright, we're going to be behind. <laughs> Shit. Oh, it's a long one, too. Alright. No, not... Fuck. Okay. Alright, we got to first try this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We first tried it. We picked up three seconds. I'll take it. Mersing just subscribed. Man, I missed the first tower. Yo, Mersing. Uh, thank you so much for 17 months, man. I hope you're doing well. Alright, over to the locker. Uh, yeah, the top test games. I really need to play uh, Super Castlevania, Contra 3, and Mega Man X. That's a good lineup, dude. Hell yeah. Do you own, uh, copies of those, Sean? I know you... I think you said you had a pretty, like, extensive SNES, uh, library. Alright, swimming time. Alright, 
Uh, we don't have to help her into this room. You can just walk in and you're golden. I think in the last run I did, I just, for some reason, still held hands. And it probably killed about 10 seconds. That's sick, Sean. I, uh... I used to have, like, a somewhat decent Genesis collection, but a lot of them kind of just got lost, or I think I sold some at some point. I also don't have my Genesis anymore, unfortunately. I don't, again, I don't know, I don't know if we gave that to somebody when I was kind of younger, or if I sold it, or what. Oh, uh, yeah, Mercy, uh, February 6th, next uh, Monday. Okay, through the door, up. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bad movement, bad movement. Terrible movement. I think we can still get there. I don't think we need to come up for air. Um, if we don't, I'll have to spray with coolant. Coolant slightly... Uh, raises your health back up. Oh, we're fine. As long as it doesn't get past A, we're fine. Oh, okay, okay it got close. <laughs> oh, no shit. Nice. Okay. And because Emma doesn't like bugs, you have to choke her to get past the bugs onto here. In... Like a regular playthrough, you would just use your coolant to spray them away, uh, but this is significantly faster. Alright, this room has ripped a run before. Uh, if you have perfect movement here, you can get by this guy without him seeing you because he starts to like fall asleep. I learned my lesson once, we're just going to shoot him. <laughs> best, way, best way to deal with that, just shoot him. It, it maybe adds a second of time and it ensures that you won't be seen because this room, if you get into alert, uh, has like endless guards come out unless you hide somewhere. Because the, la the last run I ripped here, uh, that first guy saw me, I knocked him, and then I just like killed everyone in the area to try to get out as fast as possible, and they just kept coming through. There's nothing I could do. I would have had to have like moved Emma somewhere, and then, like, hid in a box, which I don't even think I have a box. Um, yeah, there's, like, no way out of it. Okay, this part gets a little dicey. I'm trying to remember when to pull out my gun. Right here. Okay. We only need to shoot that one. Nothing else will see us here unless we really go off path. I think I just got so scared when I saw that thing move. Let's throw this shit down. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, this is bad. Okay, this is real bad. Um. Um. Okay, I'm on fire. Um. <laughs> oh fuck, dude. Please don't come out of this door. Please don't come out of this door. Please don't come out of this door. Okay, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Whew. That could have ended the run. Uh, it's definitely hurt us, but it could have ended everything. Okay, let's go. He's heating up! <laughs> Dude, you know what I found out last night? They made, you know, I guess I thought the 3DS had worse graphics than it did. So maybe this isn't as impressive as I think it is. But they made Metal Gear Solid 3 for the 3DS. That blew my mind for some reason. Like, I just can't... It also just kind of seems like an odd game to play on a 3DS. But, like, I don't know, that's kind of cool. It, like, looked... It didn't look as good as, say, like, the... I mean, it looked about on par with the PS2. It didn't look as good as the HD remake. Or the HD port, I guess. But, like, 
it still looked legitimately decent. Morton saying, man, I'm, I'm hoping just for something good in general. Like, yeah, I'm going to be so mad if it's like, we're just making Metal Gear uh, NFTs or something like that. I'd be happy with like a, a one remake, a two remake, a three remake would be fantastic. Um, oh, fuck. Uh, snake. I just want something tangible um, that isn't like a load of crap. <laughs> I know Raiden's voice actor randomly tweeted something recently that was like implying that it's going to be something pretty cool, but who knows. Oh, fuck, there's a third? Okay. Not anymore. She fell. Fuck. I remember something about a right thumbstick attachment for the 3DS for the Metal Gear release. Oh, no shit. Now that I think of it, yeah, I guess you would need something like that. Time to get some water. Oh, this is also, uh... Wombo, if you're still here, my apologies. Let me give you a shout-out. Um... I gave... I managed to give Sai one. Um, I found the perfect time to... Uh, hit her with a shout-out. In between, like... I think in between the tanker and the big shell part of the game. Um, but this... This is, like, the perfect time to... Catch up on that stuff. Clear skies at the moment. Should be some dudes coming out of here in a moment, though, I think. Do I like MGS5? So I need to... I think I need to give it a full chance. Um, oh, shit. I admittedly wasn't loving the, like, base builder part of it. It seemed like the actual missions were pretty sick. The story was, like... The story seemed interesting. But, like, the... I don't know. I think I prefer a linear... Or, like, at least partially linear... Um... Style of game. I think that's what kind of threw me off. But, yeah. I, I think I need to give it a full try. Uh, someone who didn't own a PS1 I actually have no opinions on that. Fair enough. You felt the same about it? Yeah, I, I got to, like, I guess what would be considered the second act. Again, it also, from what I've heard, is kind of like an unfinished game. Um, I know people, like, I know Kojima, I think, said he wanted to do another chapter or two, even. So, like, he didn't even get to wrap up the story, but at the same time, like, I've, I've followed the lore of it now. Like, I'm familiar with how 5 goes, and I don't know it. Like, if they just ended the series with 4 and left anything that was in 5 a mystery, I'd have been fine with it. Keep Crash 2, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, and Metal Gear Solid. Dude, that's a great combination. That, like, covers a lot, too, because you got, like, the sports game in Tony Hawk, like, Extreme Sports... Crash 2, like, good quality platformer, and then Metal Gear is, like, your action game. I dig that. Five was a shame. Yeah, it, 
it felt like there was something great there, and it just never fully capitalized on it. And again, like, it seems like the relationship between Kojima and Konami is, like, real bad. Okay, we're gonna be... I don't know. She's so slow. We gotta get her between those two poles already. Yo, what's up, Vibeblade? How you doing? Oh, thoughts on Frank Wright? Dude, I'm... I'm kind of pumped about that, to be honest. I think there's worse options for sure. Um, I think he's going to bring some stability. Alright, come on. Come on, we need... Oh, fuck. Let's go. We're back, baby. We're back. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Oh, uh, with some horrible writing and story. Yeah, yeah. In the whole skull face thing, I've seen how it ends. And I'm just like... Uh, um, keep Spyro, Ape Escape, Final Fantasy IX. That's another fantastic one. Final Fantasy IX is my favorite game of all time. Um, back when I was in like middle school, high school, and I think even college, I did this. Um, I would play it like every summer, and man, it is so good. All right, here we go. We just gotta spray at this thing and hope it doesn't fucking... Thank you. <laughs> and third coming. Perfect. Uh, I'm pumped about Frank Reich, though. I think he's gonna bring stability to the team. I don't think he's a bad coach. I think that the Colts were just having some problems. I don't think the Colts, like, upper management's all that great. So I'm gonna chalk up a lot of their problems to them. And, like, I think I'd rather a guy that's got a bit of a track record at this point than just, like, a brand new hire for this team. Maybe it's just because Matt Rule went so horrible. Alright, no save. Kid Magic and Philly for sure, yeah. Um... Then they took Kojima's name off of five. Yeah, dude, that whole situation is, like, fucked. Uh, I grew up with nine. Plus, it's the only game that my dad played alongside me, so it holds a special spot. Dude, that's nice. I, I feel that. Um, it's a great game. Final Fantasy Nine Unit, uh, Fanatics Unite. There's dozens of us. <laughs> Alright, so you don't actually have to tap anything here. Um, regardless, if you don't touch it at all, you'll still be fine. He doesn't. That's a game, dude. I would kill for just, like, a Final Fantasy IX remake. Exact same story. Just, like, you know, imagine some of that world in, like, good graphics. How, like, sick it would look. Okay. So, we've got the Leap of Faith coming up in a moment. And that's an 11 second time loss if we miss it. We missed it on the PB. So we can... We can save some time there. We also have door skip coming up. I don't remember if we got door skip or not on the PB. I'm hoping we didn't, because that would put us in great position right now. Um, Pixel demake, let's see it. Dude, I'd be all about that, too. Um, those are our big time save opportunities at the moment. Also, most important part of the whole run it's to answer this codec immediately as you come in. Because if you don't, if you wait for it to automatically answer, this guard's closer, and he will fully see you right there and go into alert. And you either have to wait until he walks by again, which is like 20 seconds, or you have to take the alert and hope that you somehow still make it to the end of this room <laughs> with no weapons. There's also a slightly fast... Alright, hold on. Leap of faith! Let's fucking go! Yeah, if you land down there, it's about 11 seconds longer than this. Okay. Here goes nothing. Start answering some phone calls. Uh, nine was an expanded story and cool moments. Uh, would be awesome. 
Yeah, that would be... I know they're still, like, doing a ton with 7. Like, they probably have to wrap that up before they do something else. But I would love that, dude. And I think there is, like, a, a love for that game. I think it sold pretty well. I feel like 9 had some of the best background art. I think it was all hand-painted. Dude, yeah, it, lo it looks beautiful. Keep answering the calls. Dude, this part of the game must seem so weird to uh, people that have never played Metal Gear. Because, like, one, I'm skipping all the codec calls that explain what's going on. And two, there's like, there's, like, a random woman just showing up on the screen, like, in the corner and stuff. Dude, ew, plus Raiden's naked, yeah. <laughs> Alright, then Snake comes back and give us, gives us everything. Okay. When I swing the sword... Alright, 45 seconds from now... We sh All right, we should be up. We should be ahead. Uh, regardless, of, uh, ugh, regardless of how you feel about Final Fantasy VIII, its environments are mostly horrible. Yeah, and it's... I think it's supposed to be more of a bleak game than Nine, but it's... Yeah, it doesn't look great. <laughs> Most of the areas are kind of forgettable, too. The soundtrack, however, for Final Fantasy VIII is absolutely phenomenal, in my opinion. I could listen to that shit all day. I still think Nines is better. I love Nines. Final Fantasy VIII soundtrack is phenomenal, though. Yo, what's up, Mike? <laughs> whopper, whopper, whopper. Okay. We're doing good. Alright. Doorskip gods don't fail us now. Yeah, the overworld in eight kind of looks like trash. I feel like they... They really learned a lot from that and made Nines look nice. Fuck. 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 Let's go! Door skip! Wasn't perfect, but... What, was a fourth try? Whew, alright, come on. We got a shot. Probably should have pulled up my stinger first, but whatever. He can stab me all he wants, doesn't matter. Snake will take care of that. Snake is extremely useful in this part. Unless he stands in front of you while you're doing this and then he just eats a fucking stinger missile to the face. That's not ideal. Okay, okay. Timing's terrible right now. Alright, that's not too bad. Vision Mail. Yeah, th again, this part of the game, probably confusing as shit for people that have never played the, at least Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> okay. This speech takes, like, a minute, I think. And then the Metal Gear fight, if we do it correctly, should take, I don't know, like 20 seconds. Uh, hold on, let me catch up on chat. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII is a love story. I mean, it's not the worst love story or anything. I enjoy it. Um, that's true. Sevens look good. Oh, uh, yeah, when the game started doing this the first time, I thought my PS2 was fucked. Yeah, man, it was like... It was mind-blowing shit to me at the time. <laughs> and just, like, the way the kernel starts, like, going... Uh, like, the AI for the kernel starts getting all fucked up. is like... It's just super cool. Like, I love the way this story played out. Dude, the, the uh, people have asked, like, what's the best Final Fantasy to start on, and, like, I will just outright say, like, look, I really enjoy 8. Do not play 8 first, because, like, that 
the whole GF system, man, and the way they throw all of that at you immediately into the game is just like, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> Once you get used to it, it's not all that bad, but man, they like, they throw walls of text at you at the beginning of that game to explain to you a system that's never like been in an RPG, or at least a Final Fantasy RPG. Okay, here we go. Fuck yes. Okay, that's two. His knee, hit his knee quick. Let's go. All right, we need a good... Fuck, fuck, no, no. All right, we need a real good solid this. Jesus. Oh my god, dude, I forgot, about, I forgot they asked you to save there. Fuck. We gotta look at Snake. God, I fucking hate this. Doesn't matter, our health goes back to full anyway. Um... <laughs> Two quick ones, already know I'm on the line. The double. <laughs> Actually got more in Final Fantasy because of the mobile game Record Keeper. Oh, no shit. A lot of cutscenes to skip. A whole lot of cutscenes. At the end of every Metal Gear game, you're like, oh, the last boss is coming up. This should be over quick, and it's like an hour and ten minutes of cutscenes. <laughs> Uh, sure, Final Fantasy VIII has a lot of side of the love story, although I think the pacing of the game is a little iffy at times. Yeah, I feel that. Keep on skipping. Keep on skipping. Also, we so this run goes off of the in-game time, and because we paused a couple times, we might have about a five-second buffer that... Hold on. I gotta focus. Two. Three. Okay. One, two, three. One. No, no one, two, three. Get as far away as possible. Oh, fuck, he went that way. <laughs> Alright, come on. We gotta do this in the next 30 seconds, I think. Fuck, dude, no! One, two, three. All right, there we go. I think we PB'd. I think we're gonna we're gonna find out in ten minutes when the credits end. But I think we PB'd. Holy shit! Uh, hold on, let me catch up on chat. Uh, I got exposed to all new characters, and mini stories. Uh, that I want to play the source games. I feel that, dude. That's a that's a good way to get into it. I think. Um, I think AJ's going live soon. Dude, I'm still butthurt about. Uh, FFRK, Global Getting Killed. It is a lot of great stuff, like five hours into the game and some great stuff towards the end. Some of the middle stuff, not involving Laguna, was somewhat iffy. Yeah, and I think the side story and the mystery behind, like, you know, Ward, Kiros, uh, is it Kiros in Laguna? Um, I think that was, like, a big appeal of the game to me as well. And, like, I, I liked Squall more than most people, probably. Um... I know he's very like moody and stuff, but I always I always dug the character. It's up to us to teach that to our children. And I I was also like eleven when I played that game for the first time, so I was probably pretty moody too. <laughs> the meme is going strong in White Smoke's Discord. <laughs> Squall's character does make a lot of sense, I think. I, I agree. 
Alright, so we have to watch the credits before we can split. But... I think we got it. It's not going to be a massive PB or anything, but I do think we PB'd. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> um, what's up, y'all? Yeah, I'm not a huge... I kind of wish they just did, like... I One, I don't know, make the credits skippable. Or two, end the in-game timer um, before the credits. And just, like, show me what my time is and then bring me to this. Like, I don't know. I know this game was not designed with the speedrunner in mind, um, and I I just get the impression Kojima's probably not a huge fan of speedrunning anyway, because he's like a he sees himself as like a movie director, and I don't think he's thrilled that somebody would play his game and just skip through all the lore. Um, not that I haven't seen the lore for this game like forty times in my life, but like. I just get the impression he's the kind... I mean, I don't think he minds you playing the game your own way and, like, going, like, stealth and not stealth or whatever. But I think story-wise, he's probably like, no, you should be getting the full experience of this. You shouldn't be speedrunning it. I could also be wrong. I've never actually looked up his take on speedrunning. <laughs> no, Sean, I totally agree about uh, Squall. And I think, like... I think... The game does a good job of kind of showing you why he's the way he is. I just think that he kind of gets written off sometimes. Uh, you know, I'm curious. Why won't that guy make a movie? I ha, Maybe he's tried? Because I think the other thing with Kojima is he kind of has to be reined in by other people. I know, like, people have said in, like, the older Metal Gear games, like, there's usually people at Konami that look kind of be like, ah, maybe you shouldn't do, like... Like, I think it, the fight with the end in 3, the, like, old sniper guy, if I recall, he wanted to make that, like, a, like, a, a just obscenely long, like, hour-long fight or something. And everyone was like, ah, I don't know about that, Hideo, like, maybe try this instead. And in, instead, they ended up making a fantastic boss fight out of that. But I think he just maybe isn't fit to make, like, a full movie himself. Plus, this like, his stuff has so many twists and turns that I'm curious if studios are just like, yeah, this is so convoluted. How long boss fight people arrive? <laughs> the end is sick in 3. Um, spoilers to anyone that wants to go into that game blind. Uh, feel free to, like, block your ears and mute. But you can, you can just fight him in a sniper battle, like, through the forest, which is really cool. 
That's like the normal way to do it. You can also find him sitting in a wheelchair like an hour before you'd be doing that fight. And if you time it right, you can snipe him and just, you never fight him. Or, when the fight actually starts, you can go into your PS2, change the date on your PS2 to like a, I don't know if it's like a day ahead or a week ahead or a year ahead, but you change something ahead, and then when you come back, he's just dead. He died of old age. <laughs> Mr. Kojima, you can't give the audience guns and ask them to question each other about politics or religion. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this game specifically um, kind of predicted a few different things that are more prevalent now. Mostly with like AI um, and like, you know, big money going around to influence things or whatever. Which I guess it wasn't like a new thing. But I feel like this guy, game kind of nailed like AI and like dependence on the internet and stuff like that. Which is kind of neat. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like Kojima's pretty good at at seeing where the world's going. I do want him to, like, make something else. Um, is, is there going to be a Death Stranding 2? I've never played the first, but I do want him to keep making stuff. And I still want a Metal Gear Solid 1 movie, which is technically still in existence, I think. I know Oscar Isaac is supposed to play Solid Snake, but I haven't heard anything on that in, like, a year. Yes? Okay. So maybe maybe I need to play Death Stranding 1. Um, again, I've heard it's kind of a, a grind at times, but I'm, I'm if anything, I'm more curious about the story. I don't think that's something I'd ever play on stream, though. I feel like it'd be too, too tedious for stream. Morton, you liked it? Hell yeah. Uh, yo, thank you, Adrio. Mike, you didn't like it? <laughs> Okay, I think we got ourselves a PB, guys. Uh, we're winding down here. Played it during COVID and it made so much more sense. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I feel like I could see how that kind of lines up with that. Uh, it was fun watching Barb play, but I'd never play it. See, that's what I might do, too, is, like, look up something. I don't have PlayStation, but the game looked boring as hell. Fair. Ajo door skip went very well. We uh, we got it on the third or fourth try, so we we could have done it about maybe like seven or eight seconds faster. All right, come on. And time, one sixteen forty nine. Let's go. Woo! Holy shit! Uh, yo, thank you, thank you for the GGS. Uh, world record, not quite, Mike, uh, but we're, we're getting there. We're still in eighth, but we're closer to seventh place now. Um, I think seventh is like 116.06 or something like that. Yo, thank you guys. Uh, thank you, Viblade. Thank you, Laserhawk. Thank you, Wombo, GB, Morton, AGO, Sean, Mike. Oh, man, that, that felt good. Save the moment. We're going to save the split for sure. So 116.01 is now our summer best. Fuck, dude. And that's actually, I think that would actually be better because technically the pauses make live split think it's faster, slower than it is. I think the time for 7th is like, I want to say 116.06. I know there was a big gap between me and 8th uh, and whoever was 7th, and we've narrowed it a little bit. Also, it's funny. I think 16 alerts is what I get almost every time, and people killed is between 30 and 34, I think, depending on... There's a couple people that you can tranquilize or kill, and it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, usually... Usually it's like very specific rooms you can actually kill people because none of the guns in Raiden's portion are silenced. So if you do want to use like a SOCOM or an AK, you have to make sure there's no one around. Um, so yeah, these numbers are almost always the same now, which is kind of funny. But yeah, that uh, that went really well. I am 
extremely pleased. We got the, the Swallow ranking, as always. Actually, let me look that up. Let me take a look and see what the actual time is. Um, I guess I'll 2 HD edition. I'm at 8th place. 7th place is 116.09. Okay. That's manageable. And then 6th place is 114.42. 5th place is 112.30. So there's, there's some pretty big gaps after that. Um... Let us save. Fuck, dude, that is that is nice. Um, what do we want to do? I don't think I have time for another run, but we could do some VR missions. We could do Snake Tales, which is, uh, Snake Tales is what, it, it's not canon because some of it gets pretty ridiculous, but, um, 